Why would God choose the most heart-wrenching, the most gut-wrenching, the most get-to-your-heart possible sight of a, of a, of a sacrifice? Well, years later, you know, there was a hint. There was a hint. I know this is a mystery. What, what, the mystery of the Passover. Years later, Jesus Christ gets up at a Passover, and it's the weirdest Passover in history because there's the wine, right? We see the two cups of wine, or there's more than two, but we see the cups of wine. Secondly, there's the unleavened bread, but Jesus never gives them the main course. There's no main course. Now, some people say, well, Maybe Luke was just, you know, Luke is very spare in his, uh, you know, his, uh, you know, narrative, and maybe he just left it out, but Matthew leaves it out, and Mark leaves it out, they all leave it out. Oh, no, 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 oh, no. It's startling. Here's the point. This is astounding. There's the wine. There's the unleavened bread. There's no lamb on the table because the lamb of God was at the table. When Jesus Christ says, this is the blood of the new covenant. The word covenant is a relational word. A covenant is a binding, intimate relationship. And he says, do you remember the first time you were able to enter into a, a, a loving covenant, a loving relationship with God, in, and, and justice was turned aside was because of the blood of the Lamb. I am the ultimate Lamb of God. It's, no, the answer is, the blood of those little woolly animals did not pay for sin. All those animals are pointing to me. And why am I a lamb? Now you're beginning to get just the slightest. You know, why not a wild boar? Not, why not a bull? Why not a cow? Why a lamb? You're getting you're just in the slightest, dimmest way, we understand something of the cost of God the Father. And letting his son die for our sin. He's the apple of God's eye. He is the jewel of his heart. He is his own firstborn. But because Jesus Christ died, our sins were put away. Think of all the crimes we've done against God. There is a debt. And there's only two things God can do with it. He can hate us. Or he can forgive us. But if he's going to forgive us, he will have to pay the debt himself. He will have to suffer. And he did. Because you see, Jesus Christ is man, therefore he can suffer and die. But because he is God, his suffering and death pays for our sin. And that's the mystery. That's the solution to the mystery. And he said to them, I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. I have earnestly desired to eat this Passover with you. Before. You know that word, earnestly desired? The English translators, no matter how hard they try, they're not going to be able to get it across in English. He literally says here, with desire, I have desired this. That's a Semitic doubling which gets across intensity of emotion. But actually, the word desired, the Greek word desired that he uses is the word epithumia, which is often translated in the New Testament, lust. And you know what he's saying? Here's what he's saying. He's saying, you have no idea how much I love you. You have no idea how much my heart is bursting with love for you. You have no idea what I'm about to do for you. You have no idea the depths of my love, the height of my love, the width of my love, the length of my love. But you will when you find out the meaning of the, my death. You will when you finally understand what I did for you on the cross.